Hovey's home. Hovey's home. All right, we're good to go. Yeah, yeah. We're good to go on and go. Go is uh, go is a go. Welcome and wake the. F- <laughs> Welcome to thy do thy just big channel. Ooh, I'm the nigga with granola in his teeth. Um, young. Hg. Ooh, take it back to the ninety intro on them niggas. Good. You know what I mean? That was the head jerk shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, yes, it's watermelon mm. versus pumpkin. True, and I'm mm. his co-host, Lil Mattress at L I L M A T T R E S S. The shit is spelled correctly. Lilmattress.com. Littlemattress.net um, All of that Little Mattress on talk. all social medias um, That Facebook That uh, Twitter That Instagram You know, uh, look me up on Sound Nope, not Sound Well, yeah, we on SoundCloud too mm-hmm. But look me up on Spotify If you want to check that. out that music Got that mm-hmm. new album Pumpernickel Pump. out now That's that dark bread mm, Get that, get that My you life is dark, dark bread, nigga bread, you know homie say? That's um, delicious, we appreciate way. you for joining us. If you in this building, if you're mm. watching us on YouTube, please like, share, mm. subscribe. Do that. Tell a friend to tell a friend that mm. it's them again. Mm-hmm. Uh, and anywhere else that you can find us, if you like the audio, if you're watching on YouTube and you don't know, check out this audio. We are available pretty much anywhere that you can find a podcast. Mm. Spotify, mm-hmm. Stitcher, Stitch Apples, Apple. I- <laughs> Overcast, mm-hmm. wherever else, man. We out there. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Also, there's a bunch of aggregators that will um, uh, 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 that you can search on. Places like Overcast, places like uh, there's there's a couple other of them like that that I've seen where people are um, listening to the show from from places that we haven't put the podcast, but it's cool that people you know they, there's certain search engines out there. So wherever you listen to the, to your podcast at, mm-hmm. you can find our podcast. And we know that you make a podcast, yeah. so shout out to your podcast. Shout out to your podcast. And podcast now, loves. Podcast love. Podcast, podcast loves, love. Yeah, all podcasts matter. And uh, let us <laughs> let us know about your podcast and let us know how you doing at 203-594-6977. Mm. That is the hotline you can call or text. You don't have to leave your name. You can go anonymous on Not them and just let us know anonymous. the problem. Let us right. know how your you penis wanna, is working. Right. You might come out the closet on a nigga. We ain't going to mm. tell nobody, but we're going we gonna to talk about it. Like, niggas shouldn't be scared exactly. to come out of the closet anymore. It's 2018. For real. We, we come try out, to, nigga. You gay. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> much like someone that's taken too much acid and you're sitting next to them, we will try to guide you through the journey, <laughs> homie. We'll try to guide Just you breathe. through Keep it. Keep breathing. Just breathe. Just, Just breathe. breathe. Drink this water, cuz. Drink this water. Mm-hmm. You won't be all right. Breathe, nigga, through the nose. Through the nose. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, Ugh. once again, 203-594-6977. That's a call or text. Of course, it's free. It's always going to be free, man. If you want some promo, if you want to talk some shit, mm-hmm. if you just want a shout out, if you're like, yo, my name's Bruce. I live in West Haven, man. Yeah. Give me a shout out. We can do that <laughs> so for you. We'd be like, Bruce, shout out. And that's going to be right. the interaction. Your name is T Ping from uh, Hong Kong. Nigga, we got you, Hong Kong. Mm-hmm. Drop that line. Uh, rare fact, it's mm-hmm. been, um, I believe, nine years to the day, to day. Uh, since T Pain rhymed, uh, T Pain, excuse me, rhymed mansion with Wisconsin. So uh, <laughs> put that on your calendar. Gotta be that, that was a good one, man. Yeah, whew, because I'm around in Wisconsin. Everybody was in that studio like, it works. I mean, he, he's making a lot of money right now, so <laughs> Who fuck it. going to tell him otherwise? Mm-hmm. You got that, T-Pain, Wisconsin. But it's funny, too, when uh, some people would think perhaps that an artist fell off, and you're like, no, I don't think people understand the amount of money that T-Pain made. He I did. don't know. I don't even know if he's still making music, if he's trying anything right. new. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, see, don't hey, know. There's nothing new coming out from him, because niggas did jack his shit. But. Yeah. <laughs> but the amount of money that he made in the meantime, yo, he's good forever. Right. That was like... Not this um, NBA playoffs, but the ones last year. Mm. Uh, I remember Chameleonaire was in the crowd. And okay. everyone was like, the fuck is Chameleonaire doing right. there? Where has but he been since he's been rolling? He went. <laughs> well, I mean, they've been hating. You know, <laughs> he said it himself. <laughs> it's in the point. They see me rolling. They hating. That was it. Yeah. Um, but no, he went into the tech area, man. He went over in Silicon Valley, and he's working on apps and shit like that. Nice. He put his money into a serious spot to be able to afford... Those twenty thousand dollar tickets, like, is right. nothing, and that's and that's the key. Uh, if you're gonna get it quick, you're gonna be a flash in the pan. Uh, at least put your shit into something. Invest, right. you know what I mean? Uh, 
I don't know if some of them South niggas are. You know, I don't mean to, I don't mean to pinpoint y'all niggas. I love y'all because y'all yeah. are my people. What a melon, y'all are my people. But some of the niggas in the South, man, I don't know if y'all are doing your investments right. Like those uh, Hurricane Chris. Hey, baby, hey. you know, I don't know what happened to him. You know, me. I don't know how much money Mike Jones has left. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what about guys? Uh, um, what was the other guy Diddy used to rock with all the time? Oh man, Diddy had a South Cat on his label, right? At one point, Young Jock. Young Jock. Thank you. There it is. What the fuck is Young Jock doing these days with that little money he got? Young does Jock he? is in some weird shit. Young Jock's out there wearing dresses and Get uh, out of here. with the bouffant haircut, Whoa. man. Hello, yeah. bouffant. Google Young Jock, man. <laughs> it, it, it's embarrassing right now. Wow, did that nigga turn to the dark side? But hey, man, <laughs> the light it, side. if you want to believe 50 Cent, that's what, uh, you know, that's what Diddy's about. Uh, so. 50, yeah, 50 is hilarious. Yep. He stays, uh, he just makes a career right now just uh, trolling everybody. Just the <laughs> ultimate troll, man. <laughs> ultimate troll. Hashtag get the strap. Get the strap. Get the strap for these niggas, man. Mm. <laughs> it's a walking script every day. <laughs> for real. But yeah, man, this is episode 23. We had that Jordan number. We had that number of greatness right Great. now. Great. Or LeBron's number two. <laughs> Sorry, Bron Bron. Well, that's 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 the big, um, you know, hubbub the big that's tell. happening right now. Mm. Is in my personal opinion, I'm yo. Know, listen, I'm not a Jordan guy. Never been yep. a Jordan guy. Yep. But you know what? All I gotta say is, yeah, man, you're down twenty. There's four minutes left in Game Four, where you're about to get swept. And you go sit on the bench. No, Oof. you are not Michael Jordan, bro. Uh, no, you are not Michael Mike's Jordan. Mike's in it to the last drop. Exactly. Michael Jordan, I he think, would take it to the last yeah, drop. It wasn't. I, and and that's then LeBron. drink that Gatorade. And that's you the, know? Yeah. <laughs> Replenish. <laughs> and then look to the camera to get that photo op, nigga, because mm-hmm. it's going to be on the cover of something with the trickles of sweat exactly. coming down his trickles. forehead. You know what I mean? But that was that whole shit with LeBron. It's like. Almost like I guess I guess that was his way of saying, nigga, I just gave 190% this whole damn playoff, and now I gave up. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like he's met defeat, and he didn't want to. The 20-point run, you could, if you rally niggas, you could probably run from that. Four minutes to go. And you, you know and that. Crazier things have happened. That's and, all I know. And you know that the Warriors at that point are just cruising. Right. So catch some lacks. Yeah, yeah. The, was it lacking? Huh? Lackin Pull that pussy out, cuz. You know what I mean? They lacking. As you start getting that the defense, tighten them up. LeBron, mm-hmm. you like a coach slash player. He's one of them player coaches. Yeah. The motherfucker be taking the clipboard out the coach's hand and shit, mushing them and shit. <laughs> like, hold on, player. I got a better play. What yeah. we gonna do here? Exactly. And, Erase that bullshit. Look, Let's he go. Does it? Are you, I swear, if you go look at footage of him in the huddle, like, cause he has coaches that are he I think he requests coaches that are kind of young, like yeah, Tyron yeah. Tyron Lou or Tyron Lou. Who's their coach now? The nigga was just playing like last year. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like it's kind of hard for us, like because Jason Kidd did that. Yep. You know, a couple uh, coaches. Uh, yeah, but real quick, shout out to Jason Kidd's Oreo crumble mustache that he's had forever. <laughs> like, why can't it get any thicker? Like, what's up? Well, the nigga's last name is Kidd, so I think he's fucking destined to be That's too. like when, when Jay-Z tries to grow any facial hair, and you're like, yo, stop it. It's Just, been three months, bro. Uh, I mean, you got a, a pube hanging off your chin. Right, the hair on his head, can, you can make some work, but the, yeah, the facial yeah. is like, it's not happening. No. It, you just got to gotta take the feet. Like, I'm, I'm working on it, but I know <laughs> genetically... It's gonna take me a good year yeah, yeah. <laughs> to get something full. Like shit this is niggas dedication. Could, right. Shit niggas could get in a month. Yeah. You, you know, which you can probably get in two weeks, nigga. I need a year and a half. <laughs> but that's genetically and that's just the way you hit your shit your shit grows. That's so, you know, just the way it is. You know, but yeah, Bron Bron. <clears throat> I don't think we can even have the conversation no. anymore. I mean, I know that there's people from this generation who never oh. saw Jordan. So right. like I think we were lucky enough to grow up in that era where right. Maybe we didn't see like Kareem Abdul Jabbar playing right. Bill Russell and people like that. Right. We're seeing the same thing they're seeing is footage. Yeah, yeah. You ain't see the shit live, but you see footage of, you know, yep. good old TV keep you up to par with, with, with what happened before you. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, it's like, that's the thing, though. You, you can't compare, like, LeBron's his own animal. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, yeah. Stop, you can't compare him to Kobe. You can't compare him to Mike. You know, yep. and it's. The man is, he's got his own dynasty legacy of, it's like his his own personal dynasty. You know what I mean? Like, wherever yeah, he yeah. goes, he makes the team better. There's, there's no putting around that. You know what I mean? Yep. It's like, wherever he fucking goes, they gonna shine. You know? True. It's like, the guy was in eight fucking straight championships? Something with two around different there. With two different teams? 
Obviously, there's something around him. <laughs> you know what I mean? There was some shit he yep. carries. He carries a big stick. Like, he ain't even fucking around. Yeah, yeah. But he just, at the end of the day, can't, can't, can't get it through. Finish. Can't get it right. Yeah, you know? by no means would I ever um, say that he's a bad player by any means. But, uh, yeah, I think it comes down to finishing the game. Like, right. how many times can you get to the big dance? Yeah, that's a thing. Right. But if you're not winning it, then... Right. What's that really mean? Because you're just Carl Malone. Even I think <laughs> sh- true few step in the boot. Because even I think uh, LeBron the same would see the season as a failure. Because oh, I think absolutely. he's that type of. Um, it's the way he operates. Like, it's, it's weird not- too because he has that certain want to win grit and determination inside yep. of him, but then he also has the quitter in him right. as well. It's that. It's, it's that. It's that strong. Leo Millennial, uh, uh, mm. <laughs> you know, what Leo I mean? Millennial. You know, he's like, I'm strong, but then the millennial shit come out. I was like, <laughs> yeah, well, when stuff's not Prima going Donna his way, shit, then yeah. it goes, I'm sitting on the. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's it. That's that's the voice of the millennial is. What a go. Do it. You want to do it? Good dude, shit, wait, dude. When I was watching, man, I saw that shit. I was like, no. Come on, bro. Because. Now, I'm pretty all sure they commentators. All I hear is blast. the Jordan, uh, the Jordan thing. Yeah. The you know is he better than Jordan? Blah blah blah. And like, listen, yeah, you might score more points, but I'm talking about from a player perspective, and, and that hunger is. And like I even said, man, I'm not a Jordan guy. I was not. I never had a Michael Jordan poster. Right. Never any. I nah. never even had any of his shoes. Nah, None of that. Nick, stuff. I was a Knicks fan, so fuck that. Um, <laughs> but man, yeah, that conversation needs to be deaded because, yeah. dude, and it's happened before where, it's uh. It's coming down to the wire. Dude, the game's not over. Like, Reggie right. Miller showed that plenty of times oh, yeah. that the game is not God. fucking over. They were down by, like, five with, like, less than uh, 30 seconds. And he went and popped, like, three threes yeah, on him. Yeah, just pop. Boom, boom, let me get to that. Okay, yep. now, grab now this nigga. Like, he pushed my nigga, but that's okay. Listen, yeah, yeah. Uh, watching that game as a Knicks fan, it's like, you motherfucker. Nobody's going to blow the whistle? Blow yeah. the whistle! <laughs> I mean, it can't be. I told you I'm black. Where's the flag? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, you can't compare him, man. And, 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 like I said, LeBron, I get wavy on how I, I view him as a fan of the game. Free Max B. The, you know what I mean? <laughs> Free <laughs> Max uh, How I uh, I view him is like, man, I was like, oh, he a sucker ass. And then I see some shit like, oh, that was dope, LeBron. You yeah, know yeah. I mean? You'll see some shit he do that's, like, strong in the community or something. Or, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? How... Or uh, an interview or a press conference he has, like, all right, mm-hmm. I think he spoke that well. You know no, what I mean? No, man, and he's super smart. Did you see right. the one press conference where they asked him, they were like, so, LeBron, what happened when, uh, boom, they went on a 12-point run? Yeah. And he, in his mind, right. did it. it broke and he it was all just, down. That shit well, was amazing. And it was like, this is not marinating, like, watching footage. This is right after the game. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. he broke down, like, he has a very photographic like yep. fucking memory of a hey, this happened that happened this mm-hmm. happened so that's how you know he has and, and it's real when he says that you know when he's like you know it was like shitting on his team but not he yeah. said when you get guys with like mindsets that not only have the talent because we look we're in the nba we all have the talent yep. there's no doubt about that you made it to the nba you got the talent but not everybody has a different kind of mindset smarts for the game you mm-hmm. know what i mean like <clears throat> J.R. Smith, whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> when the nigga did yep. that shit was like they were the game was tied. They their guy shooting a fucking free throw. Excuse me. They're they uh, the, no, the Cavs okay. player. We get emotional about it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> burp style, burp style. The Cavs player was shooting a free throw. Now the game is tied. He shoots the free throw. He hits that one. They're up one. Yep. He's not paying attention to what's going on. Clinks off, but he grabs the rebound. He's fucking five feet from the basket. He dribbles out. Yeah, yeah. And he he's dribbling to half court. Up. LeBron's yelling him, what yeah, the fuck? <laughs> and then he heaves up some bullshit. And mm-hmm. it's like, they're looking at him like, and then his explanation was, oh, I thought the game was, I thought we was up. I thought we was up. Yep. Nigga, pay attention. That's the shit he's, that's yeah, yeah, the shit yeah. LeBron talking about. Like, that's the yo, focus that people have to have. Right. To, know what the fuck is going mm-hmm. on. <laughs> and I'm not saying he is, because listen, I'm, I'm a marijuana user myself, but like, I don't know if they're testing JR, bro. <laughs> JR. I don't know. If they, because I, I will say, too, there's some people that have those eyes. There are people that have those eyes, but man, JR yeah, is like, fucking. Like, you smoke right before the game? Right? <laughs> like, d- did you take a bong rip at halftime? Like, what come the on. fuck y- is going on? Your motor skills are a little fucked up right yeah, now, man. and your brain's not clicking. You know, but he used to do that shit when he was in New York, man. Just like making dumb decisions. Like, yo, what the fuck, JR? He'll have a hot night. 
and yep. put up 40 points the next night. He's like two two points in a rebound. Mm -hmm. and well, because I'll say that that's one of the last uh, video games that I played is the 2K whatever when yep. he was still on uh, New York. It was him, Shumpert, uh, okay. and I think that's Carmelo. Back. Yep. Was that, so it was a couple years yeah, back. Three, four, but Because yeah. um, I remember playing with, you know, uh, the Knicks and all those dudes were dope and psh, not Shepard, anymore, man. Nah, yeah, no, nah, it, 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 the whole thing with him is, uh, you know, young Shumpy, <laughs> young Shump. He, he had an album out too, by the way. I don't know if you ever heard Ooh. his music. So Shumpert actually definitely was, smokes weed. Then. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna no, not Jared Smith, that, not Jared, no, no, Shumpert. I'm sorry, oh, we mentioned oh, Shumpert. Shumpert. Yeah, Shumpert was actually a uh, artiste. Uh, you know what? He wasn't that bad. Yeah, I and I heard it was like he had some lyrical flow. It wasn't like uh, some corny shit like Dana Barrows. I remember mm. him back in the day. <laughs> it's just, and but that's the thing too with um, rap. Of course, there's different styles of rap that you can mm. do. Like obviously, there's a huge difference to, between Common and Ice Cube. You right, know what I mean? There, right. There's going to be a different, yeah. uh, yep. you know, gangster rap versus you know conscious, if you will. But if you or in the NBA and you make a rap album, this, you cannot talk about shooting people. Right. You can't talk about selling drugs. It's, it's you can't very, talk about basically all the cool stuff. It's, there's you can't no, talk there's about no, that. There's no lane. Yeah. Like, I mean, you can do the balling lane. Exactly. Like, yeah, you can do the rich lane. Right. You know, and just I'm balling and then literally balling. You, you know, yeah, yeah. that's where you lay at. Basketball I'm balling and balling. <laughs> right. Basketball and balling, man. It's That's where you live. That's where you stay. Yeah. But how big is that market? How many relatable niggas are fucking with you besides the NBA <laughs> exactly. or the D-League or something or niggas that's overseas making that? Uh, I know, right? You you, you can um, maybe inspire some cats in the D-League to like, yeah, that's where I want to get. Yeah, that's I, what I want to do. I but, need that Paul George money. You know what I mean? Right. But they got enough money to fuck off anyway. I know right. Kevin Durant does something with music, whether it's make beats or I know involved? that he has a studio. He yeah, has, I yeah. think he has like a label or something. Like yep. Some young. I cats. can picture him just whisper rapping. Like I don't yeah. want anyone else to hear it because he's all soft spoken. You know who? Who is a rapper right now too in the things. NBA? Um, what the fuck? Uh, somebody in the NBA. Oh, the ball, the ball boy. Oh God. Yeah, Levar. Because uh, you know his dad was like, you got to do it all. Yeah, you got to do it all. Yeah, you got to do it all. So Zoe, Renzo, uh, is Zoe, is that the one that's on, uh, which one's on the fuck? Zoe, right? That's the one that's on the Lakers right now? I believe so. I just call him the ball boy. The ball boy, <laughs> <laughs> he's got out. He's got like a video and shit. And it was mm -hmm. and it was funny. The funniest shit was they had um like some behind the scenes shit. They were on the plane and they were like, and they were doing their own like, Snapchat or whatever the fuck they were doing. And uh, one of the players from the Lakers like, Yo, tell him to turn this shit. Yo, he is so whack. This nigga <laughs> is so whack. Getting him, you know what I mean? Yep. He's like, oh, y'all hating, y'all hating. It's like, no, you are definitely your daddy, son. You are mm -hmm. so whack. And and as a matter of fact, somebody tell you that shit, you ain't going to believe it. You know, I'm yep. dope, nigga, whatever. I'm like my daddy. We dope. No, Everything it's funny. Was... There's certain people in certain mind states, and this mind state does cause a lot of people to uh, succeed, mm. but there's certain people who have that mind state of like, Anything negative that is said to me is not a true opinion, and right. it is just somebody hating on me. Right. When <laughs> that could be your boy, it's your teammate. Of course, yeah, he could be fucking with you, but also he's probably just like, your shit is trash, and I'm telling trash, you, your right, shit is trash. Right. But that's when those words from mom come in. You know, when you're younger, mom, the kids are, they're just hating, honey. They, they just jealous, they just baby. Jealous they they just, they just <laughs> jealous, baby. So that's where that all resonated. Mama was right. Y'all hate. Y'all hate you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mama should have told your ass to not, baby. It's just yeah. whack. You know, it's okay. Because, man, I'm telling you, this era with the whole participation trophies and with everything like that, nobody can understand. And, like, it's almost like people's minds can't take, like, whoa, whoa. You don't like every single fucking thing that I do? Right, this, right. This doesn't compute right. This right. doesn't go right. You so. got to be able to take those L's, man. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, you was, in the, when you was out there hanging back in the day, and there was that motherfucker that was doing backflips because he was more acrobatic. You took that L, nigga. You yeah, couldn't yeah. do it. Don't go be like, guys, well, just help me. Mm -hmm. Help me do it. I'm... <sighs> I could do it if I want to. Nigga, right. you can't do it, and that's it. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it, and it's okay is where you have to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot do it. And it's okay, right. you know what I mean. But that's what makes it different, like in the, in the rap game now. So, you know, everybody can do it. That's the thing, man. It's so more, it's so much more relatable because nobody's doing anything that 
you can't do. And right. perhaps the small percentage of people that are doing something that you can't do, right. ah, that's some corny shit. Yeah, that's some like, corny shit. That shit got wild. Why, why he going to be rapping too fast for me to listen? You know, it's that. Yeah. Everyone just wants the whole... Simplicity. Very simple. Yeah. Listen, yeah. And, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, uh, you know, it's just different from when I grew up right. in 1942. <laughs> 1940-something <laughs> when they was dropping dumb. Right. But, uh, you know, to swing it back to LeBron, man, uh, I don't think he has an album. <laughs> but, I hope not. <laughs> I fucking hope not. But now, I guess now the biggest talk with all about him is where is he going? Now, Where's this is LeBron gonna, go? This is going to light up my whole fucking summer of uh, watching my sports center or, you know, I want to turn on a little bit of sports. Yeah, turn on a little sports. Let me see what's on the sports. I don't know. The very first thing is LeBron took a trip to Utah. Is he going to the Jazz? Right. No, the nigga likes the ice cream in Utah. <laughs> what the fuck? He went to Do go you understand sh- the amount of money that he has? <laughs> right. Or they're going to be like, yo, he just bought a house in L.A. Because he's rich. He's bought That's a house right. in L.A. Could it be? Yeah. Lakers, the ball. La- Ra- Maybe gonna- he doesn't want to fucking go to a, even though he can go to a seven-star hotel when he goes right. to Los Angeles. Maybe he doesn't want to go there. Maybe he wants a fucking house of his own. You know what I mean? He's got the money. Yeah, like cut it out. Didn't and he have uh, like $100 million before he even played his first game or some shit? Yeah. Because I swear he had like a sneaker deal and a Sprite deal. There was a big shit about him with the, um, if you remember, the uh, receiving a Hummer, I think, as a gift. Or some shit prior to going to NBA. A either. vehicle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the vehicle, guys. <laughs> uh, his, his fucking wife like, what you mean you got a Hummer? <laughs> exactly. It wasn't for me. Yes, it was, baby. <laughs> but nah, there was a bunch of shit where he received that gift uh, before going into the NBA. You know. Yeah. And that shit happens. Motherfuckers like, you about to go pro, cuz I take this gift. Mm-hmm. Remember me, remember me, remember me. He's gonna pay you back and trifle. You know what I mean? Right. He's gonna pay you back and then some nigga. So why the fuck wouldn't you go throw fifty grand down uh, you know, to go exactly. buy a Hummer? <laughs> and two, man, I don't even understand why that shit is bad because you know what? Especially nowadays, once you get to the NBA, it's pylon teams anyway. Like nothing's right. fair when you get to the NBA, so to make nothing fair in college right. anyway, and because how much- especially for all the college sports, and I'm not talking about like, mm. listen, I'm not saying that nobody should make any money. I'm not saying like if you play rugby, it's the, but you know what? If you're at Michigan and you're playing basketball for that program, right. they have enough money that's, to fucking pay you. That's like, they 100%. Just do. Like there, there's a big difference between like, we don't got it or we're not going to give it to you. And I'm not saying that every single player should be a hundred thousand, but right. you know what? Yeah. You're but, paying tuition, but you know what? That's fucking nothing. That right. shit doesn't matter because also those players aren't there to get an education. Right. That might be a byproduct of what they get, but they're yep. not there to get a fucking so stop education. Pitching it. You did not bring him to that school to get his education. You yeah. brought his ass to strap up and play fucking ball mm-hmm. and help your team. And you know, that's the thing too. Like and why make you them stupid that? amount of money right. in the that's, meantime. That's what I was going to say, you know, it's like, they're making you a shitload of money. Yeah. That, that maybe you should break it down like that. Well, how much revenue is that sport bringing to the school? Yep. Then pay them. You know, I'm sorry, rugby, yeah, yeah. but if you're not bringing no income, the motherfuckers ain't watching rugby. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Nobody's watching fucking, you know, uh, field hockey. Right. <laughs> so softball's not getting that much love unless you make the championship you're on ESPN. But yeah. it's not happening. So why should you get paid? Mm-hmm. But when they're fucking milking these uh, college, more basketball and football, those are like the two. Yeah. yeah. The college that they, come on. The jerseys are selling in the stores. Hey, why do you think they're getting that number 11? Yep. When, yeah, there's no name on it, but you know why the fuck they're buying it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, because that, the kid's and, an all-star. Um, <clears throat> the coach can make dumb amount of money. Right. Like, that's <clears throat> a rough situation to be in. And and that's why college is shit now. It, I mean, you know, there's obviously still players that play, but right. that's why college won't ever be back to what it was because people are going man like okay i can make this money over here to literally last me the rest of my fucking life right versus play three more years and maybe get injured maybe L- get injured. literally maybe go up for a shot somebody puts their fucking foot underneath you you land sideways on their foot break your fucking ankle grant hill yourself and you're just right. done and forever done. And, you, and you made no money right nothing and I mean, they could at least give them some goddamn uh, some food coupons. <laughs> like, For real. Kids are like breaking in the coolers at night, man. And, right. like, and they can't get away because they're 6'9". <laughs> 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 Trying to break into a goddamn right. campus refrigerator. Like, we see you. <laughs> Trying to duck his shit. But now they should give love, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I definitely think that college athletes should be paid. And, and like I said, I'm not <clears throat> saying to get rich in college, right. but I'm saying. They they could definitely throw them something, you know. Right. They could definitely especially, throw them something. especially they're making a shitload of money off these motherfuckers, man. Yeah, the, with that, with the they don't get paid off the video games. They don't get paid no. off shit. True, true story. True story. But, but I will, uh, 
I commend Charles Barkley for he mm. said it. He said the next person and from this point forward that asked me if LeBron is better than Michael Jordan, I'm slapping in the face <laughs> every single that. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said I am slapping Listen. every single time and I will let the judicial system work well, it you, out because you run into the LeBron fans, like I ran into one, he's like, Yo, but he's great. I said, Yeah. But he yes, said, he but is. yo, you know, better Mike. And then I said, but listen, you want to compare him to the greats, but when you get into those great realms, all those greats really didn't lose that many times in the finals. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Mike's never took an L in the, in the big game. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, Kobe never took an L in the big game. Yep. Or he did once against, I think, the Celtics. You know what I mean? But it, but that was still a storied rivalry. Right. That was a big fucking right. thing. That wasn't like, you know. Time after time after time. time. Right. Because, like, you know, it just happened to fucking Brady. Right. Because the the same shit that happened in the. Um, like LeBron took a. People forgot he took a loss to the fucking Mavericks. Like, that, oh, that did happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yep. the Mavs are such an underdog in that series. It's like, oh, them niggas came in and just. Right. Dirk? Beat was that you? <laughs> Dirk came and beat the break. But, you know, shout out to the Warriors because I feel like there's so much LeBron talk that they're not even getting the fucking congratulations. No. <laughs> there was talk of. Um, I, I read a whole article about, like, um, if LeBron wins MVP. And I'm like, D no. And right. there wasn't even a, and he could have, but listen, it's happened once before, and guess who won it? Jerry West, okay, <laughs> in like 1946, whatever it was. Right. But there's just always that narrative of like, LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. And once again, yes, he's an amazing player. Yeah. But oh, yeah. that whole fucking like, um, jock strap swing they, yeah, exactly <laughs> sniffing on a jack but they there was a whole article about like um if lebron will accept it if he wins it and i'm like they shouldn't even be in the conversation to win it because your team just got swept right. i don't give a fuck how many points you score because you know what now he's starting to look like harden where yes you're a very good basketball player you can get a triple double every game you can score 50 points but you know what your fucking team is losing right you need help that's what you, you need you, a, you know <laughs> i said the, the biggest word that they're using now the biggest term uh super team so LeBron has to make a new super team. So then they start trying to piece together. Like, that's what it's about right now. It's like, get the three big stars that are all-stars, mega stars, and put them together. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you get people that argue, like, well, that was like there back in the day. Say, like, no, there was three guys that became all-stars on one yeah, team. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, worthy in those guys, you know, it's like they didn't get drafted from other teams. No, they became great being on that team. You yep. know what I mean? And then they became all-stars. And then it turned into a super team. And to me, too, he's not that far away from that because, like, Suddenly, because they lose, everyone pretends that Kevin Love is a bum all of a sudden. Right. When well, he gets hurt a lot, that's why they say yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the only thing. It's like I, he's I'll injury prone, that. you know. And it's he's, like, he's definitely injury but prone. But when he's out there, he busts ass. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, you, you know, LeBron, you you had enough to get to the finals, so mm -hmm. you can't never take away from the fact. It's like, well, he who does he have? He had enough to make it to the finals. Yeah, so yeah. don't pretend like his his squad wasn't at least good enough. And done. listen, whether it was his call or not, it was his call 100%. But when they dumped mm -hmm. half the fucking team mid-season, like, right. yo, yo, That's you, you're, telling me, you're telling me that you couldn't have used Dwayne Wade. Right. Stop it. Right. I you're know. telling me that you couldn't have used some of those other players that you he just fucking. Been, he had been clutching these finals. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> LeBron, you tired? Wade going to get in there at least give you 16, 18 off the bench if you had to. You exactly. I mean? <laughs> like, I don't understand. That decision was fucking bugging to me where yeah. they're just like, oh, no, uh, well, that we might have didn't they fucking lose Isaiah Thomas? Yeah. Like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> you know? He busts ass, too. Like, I, they gave up those players to make their team. Right. It necessarily wouldn't have been a pylon team, but they gave up the players that fucking would have helped immensely on the team. Like, they, that, they lot, tossed them out halfway through the season. And that's uh, that's GM, uh, CEO, Coach LeBron. Yeah. You know, <laughs> he calls these shots, man. I'm telling you. He's that's got the PC, that, much, that player you, coach. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's got that much uh, clout. Yeah, you, know? yeah, you know what's coming out, nigga? He's got that much clout, nigga. Yeah. And he runs his show. And they allow it because of who he is, you know? You never heard that shit about their mics. And, and you know, yeah, they had a strong influence, but they, didn't, they weren't so down to throw. See, you they know might who, come to Mike like on the King shit. Mike, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. I think, you know. <laughs> but you know who uh, was before that, though, that I remember hearing the rumors about was Kobe. Kobe, Kobe yeah. would fucking. Kobe, he was another bit. Because you remember at one point it was, it's me or Shaq. Yeah. It's me or Shaq. Yeah. It's it. <laughs> he big so, baby, so Shaq bounced. Yeah. And got a ring outside. And got a <laughs> ring, yeah. In Miami, right? Miami. Wait, wait. Hello. Yeah. It all comes together. Get so um, together. we had started talking about it, and it was uh, the question was poised. Mm. Where do you think uh, LeBron is going? LeBron, Bron, 
It's going to come to New York because I'm a Knicks fan. Wow. <laughs> There's nothing there for him besides <laughs> no. being a social media star. I feel yeah. like he would do the same thing where he would like go to the championship and then it'd be like, but there's no one around him. There's no one around him. He's got Pazingas, but that's it. Exactly. You know? And I love Pazingas' name because I feel like it's a celebration every time. Pazingas! You know, but I, I think the real talks of him, uh, you know, if he's going to do that super team shit with two other stars, then it's like a Houston. You yep. know what I mean? But then LeBron's been so East Coast. Does he want to go to the West and travel hard, play hard with those guys? Because the West is stacked. Mm -hmm. Does he want the best competition? That's where to go. Or is he going to come stay on the East and just demolish everybody? But I think the biggest talks is him in Philly. Yeah. You know, so that might be a move because Philly's really strong right now. And they could, you add a him in there. They got young guys. LeBron will be running with young guys. And he'll yeah, from what I heard, Philly was fucking monstrous this year and, and then fell apart in the uh, playoffs. Right. They're but, all young, you know what I mean? Yep. So you get a, you know, they add a, add a LeBron in there and then he comes mm -hmm. and he fucking shakes up the spot. Runs with the young boys, you know what I mean? Abid is one of the guys' names from Philly. Abid, Abid, Ben Simmons. You know, they got a squad. They got yeah, a squad. I heard ben Simmons is dope. Yeah, yeah, he's you know, he's, he's fresh out the gate. So he might go there, but, you know. I'm a Knicks fan, so I hope for the best. What's the percentage you think of him staying? Uh, see, he might fuck around and, you know, he might do daddy mode. You know, he might not want to uproot his family again, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? He might just kick in the family mode and be like, you know what? I'm going to end my career here in Cleveland and just. Let's do, try it out. Right, do another four or five years or something. And I'm going to stay here. He was surprised. I think that would be a more surprise if he stayed. And he might do that. I agree too. Because everybody's just already putting it, he's gonna leave. But mm -hmm. LeBron fashion is he gonna go? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? From I history, yeah, I yeah. think he's gonna go. As yeah, well. history repeating itself. He, he's that kind of guy where it's like, well, I, it's been fun, guys. You can burn my jersey again because I'm leaving. Right. You know? I promised you a championship and I brought one. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I mean that, that that is the thing. Yeah, you you can't fault him at that. The first championship at 40, 50, whatever fucking year. Right. So and he promised it. He's I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring y'all championship. Yep. And he did it I against Golden that. State, you know what I mean? And down 3-1 in the finals. Mm -hmm. So, you know, be happy, Cleveland. Shut the fuck up. You got yeah. the Browns to hate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then, um, for on the other side, I think it's going to be interesting if they can keep the Warriors together. Because uh, I... Some contractual situations going on? I think Durant was up this year. Is he? And I remember the other contract signing that he did, there was the big news that he... Um, Gave up ten million to like stay on the team and how much you want to give you up? You know, now? If, exactly. Now that's the thing. It's like we're doing money over championships. Yeah, yeah. And he gonna stick around. Uh, I mean, he not gonna stick around. But uh, yep. if he if he's trying to be loyal, but the way he left o OKC, I don't think loyalty's there. No, I don't think loyalty's there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because Westbrook was like, for real. Mm -hmm. Like we used to clown these niggas in the locker room. Now you going yeah, over there? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's like yo, we we was clowning these bitch ass niggas. That we clowning them. And next thing I turn my back and turn around like, oh, are oh, you hanging with him now? Oh, that's some sucker shit. Yep. You know, that's how I see it because they always did interviews together, Durant and Westbrook. They were like a tandem, you know what I mean? The two stars on the team. Yeah, yeah. So you know they had conversations with the clown and the Warriors, mm -hmm. and then that's where he goes. Because, <laughs> yeah, I think it all comes down to, like you said, man, money versus championships because Golden State has – a real opportunity to make a run for one of the greatest teams ever. Like, right. dude, if they win, if they win another, if they win next year, has that ever been done? Has there ever been a uh, three peat? I think Mike and them did a three peat, didn't they? Did I want to say the Bulls in the nineties did a three peat. I mean, you had like the, the fucking uh, the Celtics. With, yeah, uh, when, this when, guy had eleven rings. When, I mean, yeah, was, when Bill was Russell was of, going, yeah, Bill Russell was like three, yep. four in a row. So I don't know. That's something to look up, but um. Yeah, there's been there's been, but uh, as far as dynasty wise, see, Bill, Bill Russell, I think his were scattered, but a strong grip. I mean, these guys, the way they are, man, it's like they could be fucking, they could be another three, four championships in a row. I mean, yeah, the way they're stacked, if they keep that team together like that, and with your Curry, your Thompson, and Durant, bro, you you play those guys for another three, four years, they got another three, four championships under their belt, right? You know, what I mean? and you're looking at what? Oh, eight appearances. You know, if you look at eight appearances and seven rings. Like, call it quits. Why the fuck would they want to play anymore? You know what I mean? And that's the shit right there because Golden State's been horrible for a long time. And, and now the city of Oakland is in Jubilee. And now they uh, also cannot celebrate the fact that I do like the Oakland Raiders a little bit too. Them niggas is leaving, man. Going to Vegas. Fuck Who's that. going to Vegas? Oakland Raiders, man. So the city, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. the city of Oakland, I was just talking about because Golden State is out there in Oakland, and they're happy for them niggas. But now they're like, oh, but your Raiders are leaving? 
You niggas is bums anyways. Go, get out of here. <laughs> All right, so check this out. Uh, so well, stat um, time, stat time. So uh, uh, the Warriors got some work to do. You got some work. <laughs> In 1959, the Boston Celtics won the NBA championship after sweeping the Minneapolis Mini- Lakers for Mini-Lakes. the first of their record eight consecutive championships. Oh, shit. So, Good uh, God. <laughs> 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 you know? But to think about it, if LeBron wins all eight, he's got that record. He was in eight straight championships. Yeah, if you he know? won them all, if he would have If that. he won them all, wow. he would have had that record. You know what I mean? Wow. Like, as a sole person to have a record of a team. You know yep. what I mean? And eight. even right now, uh, the Warriors are at only two in a row. So they would, because right. uh, I remember always miss. hearing that that stat is that they won the um, they had two last three out of four. Three out of four, That's yeah. what it was. They yep. won the one LeBron three snuck that one on them. They should have been three, Pete, because they were up three games to one. Snuck if you buck. Yeah. <laughs> three should've. games to one, and they fucked up because Illuminati sprinkled some dust in there. Right? <laughs> like, just, just give it to them. This is loose, nigga. Just, just give it lose. to them. This is ratings. This is LeBron. This is for Cleveland. This is for money. But because I remember two. Too, um, I think the last closest team that could have done it, that didn't do it but could have done it, mm. was the Bulls if Mike didn't leave. Right. Because I, I remember watching a documentary on that, and they were talking about, man, if he didn't go to baseball, what could have been? You know? Right. It, right. Where, that was another. What it could have been. Mike could have been like, oh. Because when he came back, it's like he didn't skip a beat. No. He came back with that 4-5, and I believe he got another ring when he came back, right? Oh, yeah. Either one or two, you one know? One or two, yeah. It's like, so you know. I, it, that was one of the things. Yeah, I think that they could have done five or six in a row, yeah. which would have been interesting. Well, Mike's, Mike's father died, and I think fucked them all up. Yeah, I think that that, 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 <laughs> that, was, that was the thing, too, man. If you ever read into it, it's some real tinfoil hat talk. Mm-hmm. But, um, man, about the prominent people in whether it be sports or Hollywood and shit like that where – they call it the the whole blood sacrifice where they're talking about like, hey, let him go and man, the world opens up to you. It, yeah. It's some weird shit that's, like that. Yeah, There's that's some crazy shit. That is some one of um, some shit like, you, what is it going to cost you? Yep. Is your father's life worth it? You'll have it all, Mike. Hi, <laughs> Dad. I love you. But dude, it was ju- just a, a quick ones. Like I know one of Bill Cosby's kids, mm. um, like Michael Jordan's dad, Kanye West's mom, and mm. there's a whole list of them where you're like. I don't know whether to believe it or not, but it, it's an interesting thing to see where you're just like, holy shit, this whole shit might be real, yeah. you know? And you know what's crazy with all them is that none of them niggas really have a father. No. <laughs> it's like, you want to be a successful rapper? Don't have a dad, nigga. Mm-hmm. Niggas with dads can't make it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a t-shirt right there. If you're <laughs> niggas <laughs> with dads can't make it. <laughs> oh, man. Like, but, but they can. <laughs> Not in the rap game. Right? <laughs> in life, yeah, you got your odds of having a dad is better for you. You get more morals <laughs> and shit. But uh, in the rap Not game, in the nigga, rap game. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Remember that in, like, there's been battles where the um, offensive words against you are that, like, your parents are still together. Like, huh? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? This nigga got both his parents. Look at this nigga thinking. Look at this bitch ass nigga with both parents. Like, wh- what? How does that work? Because, dude, that's what they love in battle rap is the struggle raps. It's fucking right. struggle rappers love to tell you what they've been through. Right. And, fucking... and, and, it, and, you know, and it's only doing, they're doing it for the crowd. Because exactly. these niggas in the crowd are like, yeah. I yep. want, yo, I just ate a ketchup sandwich before I came here, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, no. If you pay $40, $50 to be there at that venue, you doing okay. Yeah, you're all right. If you got the real nigga hurt, it's income. not going to be there. Exactly. <laughs> and then the girls in the crowd, oh, my God, he struggled? He struggled. Oh. I want to kiss his pecker. Mm-hmm. I swear to God, that nigga struggle. I want to <laughs> make him feel better. <laughs> yeah, all those fucking, what you know about sleeping 12 in the bed? <laughs> okay. Uh, head, feet, head, feet, head. Yeah. Nigga, that's how we slept, nigga. Picking roaches out the cereal box. I was going to say, well, that, that <laughs> Ghostface song featuring um, uh, MJ, what, uh, Mary, J. Mary, Mary J. Yeah, yeah. That was one of them all time, fucking the hardest thugs ever. Just like, yo, that's how I grew up. That's how I grew up. That's how I grew up. Yeah, you my nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He called the girl his nigga, too. <laughs> hey, shout out to Method Man. You my nigga. Whoa. Anybody else know what he's talking about? All right, cool. <laughs> but that's. Oh, uh, yeah. But coming up in battle rap, I guess, is that uh, Murder Mook versus um, A Verb. And we found out that uh, we, we, we got a correction to make in the podcast. Correction to make in the podcast. Correct that, correct that. It's not on Smack, it's on RBE. Rare Breed RBE. Entertainment. Rare Breed. I guess they got I some dough they, to throw around. Yeah, I know. So their pocket must be looking nice uh, because. Right. 
they probably, I, I take it that they're paying them some stupid amount more money than Smack would. Because what the fuck else would make him come out of his like retirement or whatever? Or just matching the offer because maybe Smack doesn't want to pay it right now. Maybe right. they're matching that. Because I remember, yeah, I think last time it was either like fifty or seventy five thousand that Murder Mook's like, yo, I'm not moving unless it's that. And um, I don't know if he had one since, but he demolished uh, Lux when they <laughs> battled. Man, like yeah, that was ugly. That was a big primetime one too. Yeah, yeah Lux yeah. was like, and I, I've seen some good work from Lux, but I was like, ooh, Lux. I honestly think no. like what they're talking about Lux is there. I, bro, I see drugs all over his face. I'll like be honest with you. Man. Up. Yeah, like, it looks a little pimply and shit. Drugs you know what I mean? all like, over his drug face. pimples going on in that shit. Like, ugh. and from like just how laser focused he used to be to right. where he is now. We're just like, ooh, dearly it's beloved. Not... <laughs> this yeah, yeah. Right here. we are gathered here. here. We are gathered here for this nigga's funeral. You know, but I, I mean, somebody. I said, you know, Cat try to invite me to go out to there to that. You know, yo, I'm going out with some people. You should come roll. And it's like, I don't know, man. I'm not trying to drop no. You know, like you said, with Mook, it's probably the the the, the venue is probably gonna be like eighty dollar ticket or something. Like I ain't dropping that, man. I wait yeah. for that shit to drop on YouTube, and I'll eat some popcorn in my own comfort time and, right. and watch the shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, he was going back and forth with me because he's he was more thinking Verb's gonna murder him, and I'm just like, ah. I don't know. Verb didn't impress. He didn't impress me that time. At times, I get it. Verb has a uh, good body of work. Yeah, yeah. Because he put a lot. He, he battled a lot of motherfuckers. He he, he went. He's battle tested. Don't get mm-hmm. me wrong. I just feel like, in my opinion, because battle rap at the end of the day is all your opinion. Yep. When niggas say, "Yo, what you call took an L, so and so took a loss," that's always in you. There's never really a judge. You know what which, I mean? Which is smart. Because uh, you know? I mean, when they were judging battles, it was garbage, was, right? Because you got guys you know? that secretly have favorites. Well, dude, they would have battlers judge the fucking battles. And I was like, what Niggas are you doing? Click and shit like, yeah. you know, don't worry, I got you on this dub. Don't worry, I got and you. And because, like you said, with it's opinion, so you can't, like, if there's somebody that likes comedy bars, if right. there's someone that likes street bars, because there's right. people in the crowd that, like, when anybody talks about, and I pull out a gun bigger than you, and I cock back, and, and there are right. people like, oh, my God. He's talking about right, guns. and there's people's opinions like then, that's real battle rap. That's yeah, to yeah. you. When niggas got a guy that's witty and he's breaking down, like you know, when somebody those guys that that intertwine it and like Tay Rock is the king of gun bars, but I like how he presents his shit. You know yep. what I mean? It's not like everybody else's. You know what I mean? His yeah, is, yeah. he's got difference. You know he hits hard, and like how um, Av is Av is like he 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 chews through it. Like his his speed and, and punctuality. Yep. And it's like he really though he rarely he rarely fucks up. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean for and for him to be going as fast as he's going, and it's like, yo, this motherfucker's just getting him right now. B Magic was like that too. I haven't seen B Magic in a while, mm. but what I liked about B Magic is he wouldn't restart from thirty seconds ago if he got right. a good crowd. Like, and that's the shit that I hate. Yeah, when the crowd fucks when, him up, and then but even like, rappers would do that on purpose. Like Charlie Clips does it a lot, where like he'll say a punchline and then he'll just stop rapping, and then the crowd will react to it, and right. that shit is annoying to me because right. you're like. Yo, if you were rapping, the crowd wouldn't have done that. But it's smart on his part. It's crowd right. control and shit crowd like control. that. Crowd control. He's but got then, him in his pocket when he do that shit. But yeah. then to get the big pop, then he starts from fucking 12 bars before. Right, and he's right. like, all right, come on, I man. said, it's no, we fucking... know what you said because you said that already. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and leave your fucking nose alone. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie's rappers. big on that one. Oh. He, 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 he pinches right towards the top. Yep. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> and it's not just him. Battle rappers in general just cannot leave their fucking yeah, nose alone. No. Like, Goods, uh, is, um, Goods is big at that. Uh, uh, what's his name? The dude that math punched. Um, who's the uh, dude that math half a punch? He's real, <laughs> real fucking tall. The real tall dude. Oh, uh, the one that they did though. Woo! Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. What the fuck? Oh. Serious Jones. Serious Jones. There you go. Oh my god! If you ever watch Serious Jones battle, like you will be screaming at your YouTube screen. <laughs> Leave your fucking nose alone. <laughs> Serious Jones cannot start. Yeah, it, or finish your battle math. without least, honking it. Yeah, niggas is ducking. Well, I seen one where uh was an unbeknownst snuck jab uh goods versus gyms. Yeah, I saw that. That was too. a that was a hella hard jab. And yep. I even he was like, what about that? I ain't say that. He said, That's a lie. You lying on my kid? <laughs> you know, that goods, he drinks all that's his thing. You know, yep. he comes up with a glass of Hennessy and shit and he sits up there. So but that liquor really got to him though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because after they apologized and shit and he was saying like he thought that he said something else that he didn't and he got right. it wrong and all that. So But see, yeah. that's the big thing too, because you know, when and that's the thing, when you look at it like people are like, Oh, they suckers, look, they ain't gonna fight, they're gonna fight. You gotta remember though, in contract wise, 
they swing, they, they don't get paid. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, so it's like, yeah, it's a sucker move, but it's kind of like, if I, if I duff them, I'm not getting my purse. You know exactly. what I mean? So you got to make your decision. For niggas that just go do it, like you're, uh, that's what they got to do, man. Is add a fourth round, which is just in a boxing ring. You know what I mean? That's what they got to <laughs> right, do. All right, now you guys verbally went at it. Now physical, go. Yep. And go, go for the like. Do the battles that people really, really right. hate each other in real life. Some real, and yeah. Have that fourth round be in the boxing ring and right. see what happens. Every personal you ever put out there in those bars previous, it's, it was coming out in his anger, right? <laughs> But yeah, it should be inter- it should be uh not entertaining, but we'll, I'll check it out. <laughs> <laughs> not entertaining, but interesting. Yeah. Um, who is it? Uh, what's his name? Sue Surf got out of jail. Oh. He's he's battling somebody else soon. I forget oh, who. I, I, he had a lot of time to write. I'm I'm assuming he had a shitload of bars. I would hope. Yeah. You know that Mafungos and Fifis. So I think because <laughs> you know, but you already know his first battle is gonna be about. What would be great. If he did, if he if he did these battles and mentioned nothing about being in jail, right? You, but That'd you be know, amazing. it's not gonna be that. But you know, it would be great. It's like, yo, he did not mention once about yep. being incarcerated, nigga. And you would think, you would think <laughs> that's what he's gonna talk about. You know what yep. I mean? Which, this, but the, the life the struggle bars. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got a perfect end right now. <laughs> oh yeah, the struggle bars. What you know about three hots in a cot? You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been there. I've been there. Mm. Shaking niggas and niggas in jail. Like, no, he wasn't. Mm. No, he wasn't. The nigga was pressing my shirts, cause right. The nigga wasn't no thug in here. <laughs> because and even if he doesn't mention, like you know, whoever he battles is gonna mention it. Because there has been that whole thing surrounding of him is. Uh, he seems to get out of jail pretty early and right. pretty quickly, you know. So Rat, there's, hey, maybe he has the best lawyer in the world. Right, I don't right. know, but yeah, there's also like, goddamn. Rat. I remember when <laughs> whatever he got caught with a gun in Detroit, and uh, I think then Arsenal either battled him or one of his boys, but was breaking down the whole like, if you even get caught with it, it's minimum two years. Right. The dude was out in like three months. It was a bad like, it was a real bad look for. Yep. You know his gangster report card. Yeah, free, free him. Everybody's free. Free Meek. Meek is free. I don't even know yep. what Meek went to jail. What did he, did he violate? What was violate, his whole thing? Probation, whatever it was. Yeah. So why was everybody screaming? Well, they felt he was uh, was it unjustified? Why everybody screaming free Meek? Uh, everybody does it anyways. You know, let me get. I'm sorry, watermelon. You know, shame on me. We know we scream free somebody even when that nigga did something wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we do this shit. Yeah. Let's stop. Yo, free my nigga Ty. What he do? He <laughs> shot. Oh, he shot three niggas. But yo, free that nigga. A lot of people will blame the cops for arresting someone for doing something wrong. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, fuck the police. Pain. My nigga just trying to feed his family. So what he shot that nigga in the face, he deserved it. Oh. You just can't do shit like yeah, that, yeah, my yeah. guys. Come on, man. You, you, you can't just walk the street like a Wild West man. Dude, it, that was like that story of like, and it's a certain mentality and it it has no color. There's fucking stupid people that, mm-hmm. are, that are white. There's stupid people that are black. But I remember that story in Florida where this kid broke into somebody's house got shot and killed. And his sister came out, and because you know the news, they'll always find the stupidest motherfucker to interview. His right. sister came out and was like, well, school was going to start, so like, how do y'all expect him to get money to get new clothes? Right. It's like, <laughs> not by breaking into someone's house <laughs> right. and trying to steal stuff, and right. then you guys... I'll, get, I'll, I'll give the lob. It's like, all right, get that man a pack. Let him go hustle some drugs. I don't know. I, I give you that lob, and yeah. that's not even right. Other than like, well, well how you expect him to break into people's house? What you think? What you think is gonna happen when you break in a motherfucking house? In yeah, the middle and they of the night. pop you. Like <laughs> right. that's, it's you, you, you can't. That was the thing is, and and then when somebody gets killed or shit like that, then it's yeah, but they didn't have to do that. It was like let somebody break into your house and right. then I'll come over and criticize you of what right. you should have done. What put him in a headlock or push him out the door and be like, now don't come back here. You see? <laughs> like, no, that's not the fucking. That's not right. the jam. You don't know what your the fucking. Hey, listen, I'm not even holding it sideways. I'm holding the shit upside down. Yeah, on right, right. And I'm just like, <laughs> now what if on. he did have a gun and he shot him? But I know my brother. He would have never killed nobody. But uh, he had a gun on him. He took three shots. He wouldn't have killed him though. He right. missed on purpose. You don't understand. That's Ugh. not my brother. Like, cut that shit out sometime. Exactly. You know, my watermelon people say, I got to talk to you. Because I just talked to, you know, a couple of my watermelon folk the other day because that's what we do. We talk amongst each other about the man. It's real. We have these discussions. <laughs> Speak on it. You know, um, and I was I was talking to young young sister. Uh, it was like, you know, and I said, you got to admit, there is times where we have to stop covering up for your little man or your cousin or your whatever that's doing wrong out there. We have this whole 
a, a protective thing that even when they're doing wrong, it's like, leave my baby alone, not my baby. L listen, yeah, if you're yeah. a baby out there slinging drugs and hurting people, you can't cover that up and say, leave him alone. Yep. He ain't do nothing wrong. They pick it on him because he's black. You got to stop that shit, man. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? It's like, yo, get in his ass. No, 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 you right. You fucking up. You shouldn't be out here doing stupid shit like mm. that. Even though you're my baby, you got to be able to say, baby, you wrong. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And, and we had that talk, man. It's kind of like, yo, not all motherfuckers is bad. T-shirt. Right? <laughs> not all motherfuckers is bad. <laughs> Plus, there's a big difference between, like, trying to hustle for a little while and feed your family and something like that and maybe catching a bad break and shit like that and just my lifestyle is going to be I sell drugs from this point on. You know what I mean? Right. There's a big difference of like perhaps trying to hustle for a little bit and get some money up and right. go and do something with it right. versus like, but get out the game. hey, for the rest of my life, <laughs> I'm just going to sell drugs and if you catch me, that's your fault. Right. And then, and like, <laughs> no. How dare this nigga stop me from selling drugs out here? Exactly. They're kind of supposed to. Uh... Right, you know, uh, shit. If a motherfucker's swindling money on the on the books for a, a, a big corporate, you know, five fortune cover, he gets caught, you know, dipping money and shit. Yeah, he deserves to get bagged because you know there's law set up, and I didn't make the shit. It's just what we were born into, man. You right. know what I mean? It's like you want to do this whole fucking. Yo, we was born into it. Right. I don't think people understand. It's like I don't think a motherfucker that really wants that lifestyle. Yo, leave me alone. Let me do what I do. Really wants let me put it in the, the new young boys. You don't really want that smoke. You don't want that smoke. Mm. You know what I mean? Because when the shit turns to the wild wild west out here, niggas is dropping. You're gonna wild, want some. Wild west. You're gonna want some sort of backup at some point. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's gonna be at some point. We like, damn, nigga, I'll go to cops. We don't want them niggas out here. Right. <laughs> certain things you gonna be like, damn, we kind of need them niggas for this shit. Yeah. Because certain motherfuckers don't want to deal with. It. I ain't dealing with that shit. Call a cop. But right. now there's no cop because you don't want them in your neighborhood. And it's like, well, who's going to take care of that shit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> niggas ain't ready to police their community, man. So no. Don't, don't, don't pretend you are if you ain't about that life, nigga. That's exactly. all I'm saying. If you're about it, then get out there and do something. And that's the thing. If you know that you're doing something wrong, how mad can you really be when you get caught doing something wrong? It's, of course, yeah, you, you're not going to be happy like fucking, well, I was doing something wrong. But, right. I mean, you got to have that, you right. know, come Jesus moment with yourself. Right. That and when the moment man, of clarity. Right. And when the man is doing something wrong in the White House or anywhere else, those big fucking fortune, the man, you don't talk about what about the man. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, he got to take that on the chin, too. You know, it just sucks that we're just uh, born into a country where money gets you out of shit. Yeah. Because you know that's I mean? the thing for me. It for me, it's never been uh, a divide of race. Even though a lot of people try to make it like that, and a lot of people succeed in making it like that, and then and that fucks up the lower end. Because right. for me, it's always been rich versus poor, right. and that's and I've never it's been always. on the rich side. You know what right. I mean? And like you <clears throat> see the right. way, even as a you know white person, a, and they scream about the white privilege and shit. Right. I've been looked at by you know, higher class white right. people is a piece of shit before. You know what I mean? And right. I'm not saying that, that that compares to the black experience, but right. for me, it's a lot. It makes more sense for me that there's a separation of class. There's a separation of, you know, rich versus poor yeah. rather than black versus white. But those rich people try to trickle down that black versus white thing, which works a lot of time and fucks people up, you know? Right. And, you know, you go way back to those days of, like, yeah, it was slavery. And it's like it was the whites who bought the blacks. But at the end of the day, like you said, it was the rich who yeah. bought people. Like, poor people didn't own slaves. Dude, there wasn't no <laughs> nobody homeless on the street like, well, I got mine too. Like, that, that's not how it happened. You know what I mean? Hey, rich established motherfuckers that, like, these big companies, like, if slavery was around now, uh, which I know people are going to get, people are yelling at the fucking, yeah, it is, nigga, you know, it's systematic slavery. I get it, nigga. But what I'm saying is if slavery was as it was back then, now, the people that would own slaves would be your your Google people that are, exactly. uh, you know, people that own these big uh, Googles, your big Pepsi companies, you, you know, these big fucking brands, people that are these big corporate companies, they would be the ones owning slaves. Yeah, yeah. And there's somebody I know screaming, like, there are corporate people owning slaves. Your minimum wage <laughs> is you as a slave. Every They're, day, man. Every day. <laughs> yeah, but think about it. You get to go home. You know what right. I mean? You get to quit if you want to. You can say, fuck your boss and quit. And exactly. without any kind of like being strapped up and, and whipped, nigga, or possibly killed. Right. <laughs> you niggas can't just do that shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it real. You know what I mean? True. But, now, yeah. now, moving on to a little bit of a lighter subject. Mm, light, light. But, um, so, I mean, we can even transfer it like this. Say uh, the rich people, if they mm. were alive, they would have 
had slaves, Trump probably would have had a basketball team. Okay, basketball, so now. Basketball, be ball. Did you hear about, because the only thing is that Trump uh, either used to be involved in this or is still involved in this. Have you heard about the Miss America pageant? This is how. Mm. Did he, did our, he finger pop one of them? I don't, I don't know. No, man. One. It's our. So now we can forget Trump now because it was just a, a bad segue. But okay. <laughs> how vaginal our country has become. Mm. And that is. Uh, Pussified. <laughs> the Miss America <laughs> contest that, you know. Nobody fucking watches anymore. It doesn't <laughs> I don't even matter. Know when does it air? Exactly. <laughs> it's one of those things that you might flip by and be like, oh, that's on. Okay, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> we'll no longer be having the swimsuit competition because, uh, you know, we're not trying to objectify. What the fuck do you think this contest has been from jump? Right. I- <laughs> it's been objectifying women. Literally, we're saying which woman is the best. Right. Who's the prettiest? Because you sure as hell got no ugly girls up there. Exactly. <laughs> Let's keep it real. Why don't you put some average women up there and let them talk it out? Right. Uh, being Miss America. Why don't we have a Miss America, what a real American woman is? Not yeah. this motherfucking uh, superficial bullshit. Exactly. Your pitch is superficial, but say, we don't want to be that way. We yeah, don't yeah. want to appear that way. Get Jenny from the Walmart. That That's <laughs> yeah. the night manager, because she's, you know, right. one of the real that's people America in America. That's America right there. Like, yeah. These bitches busting ass and feed three kids, nigga. America. America. <laughs> you know what I mean? Single mom working overnights, busting ass, feeding three kids. But you want this bitch. It's like, I want to save the turtles. Right. <laughs> yeah, and like just dumb women that don't even... Who was the... Um, I mean, I'll never remember her name, but I remember the girl a while ago when she's like, and thus and such as... And I... Uh, <laughs> she just got shit? into a fucking like whirlwind and, <laughs> and a loop of like, I, I'm not... Smart, but fuck. I, got, I know try. I'm supposed to say smart words. Smart so words thus wins. And, smart and therefore, words and, uh, <laughs> therefore, and thus being told, thus be unks me. What? What, <laughs> what are you saying? Benunced to. <laughs> but dude, our, our, it's, man, our country's just going so far into the, we're going so far into the. Um, High sensitive alert. <laughs> into, I don't want to offend anybody to where like. I feel now we're we're offending so many people because no, it's not a fucking sword to die on for me, but I'm still just like, how fucking stupid are we, man? Right. Like word like, no, no, we can't see women in bikinis when like listen, literally you have like ninety percent of the porn that was ever made in your fucking hand on your phone. Like this shit <laughs> did, like just literally Google anything having right. to deal with women and you're right. gonna find some. You're gonna porn, find it. Like, and women are shaking their ass in videos. Well there so women, if you wanna be mad at somebody you got to be mad at the women that are willing to do it. I don't know. Right. You know? Because, uh, well, then this is the, the thing, too. Is like, I'm sure that this year, like, there's probably some super hot, really dumb girl that was just like, I can't show my body now. You know? Right. Like it's, I've been working out like crazy. I've been not even working. I've probably been starving myself. Right. <laughs> to make sure my bikini body is right. You know? And it, it turns into that whole shit show. But it, it is that whole thing with the whole, you know... If you're mad at someone, because I got into this conversation with somebody before where she was like, she was talking about catcalling, you know, she's like, I hate fucking guys who catcall. It's so, it's so, you know, nasty, so disrespectful. And I'm like, yeah, no, I was like, no, I get it. I get it. I agree, it. yeah. You know, I've, if I was a fucking woman, I'd probably hate it too, you know what I mean? Yep. Like, women don't catcall me. I, I mean, I wish they did. Exactly. But I mean, it'd be hilarious. <laughs> hey, yo, Dred. <laughs> You've been catcalled before. <laughs> that wasn't even a catcall. <laughs> that was more like a... <laughs> Oh, that wasn't even a fucking meow, nigga. I don't know what that was. But uh, and I, <laughs> my whole point was what I was telling her was like, yo, listen, yes, you know why motherfuckers, a lot of motherfuckers still do it? It's because there are women who respond to it. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. if be mad at somebody, be mad at the bitch who's responding to it. Right. Because she's fucking it up for you. You know what I mean? Because if nobody ever responded to it, it wouldn't happen that much. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, those women with low self esteem will fucking, like, Oh, what's up? You talking? Are you so oh, stupid? I love how you yelled at me from fifty yards away. Exactly. That was so that, cute. That's the first. Like, oh, you so stupid. Boom, you're in. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like me, I personally never done. Like, I couldn't imagine. I just have too much anxiety about that. Like, I couldn't. I just in my head, I could not imagine just yelling at a girl. Like, <laughs> yo, I'm feeling your kneecap, boo. Like, what? If I ever done it in a bad, I did it as a joke. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean. It wasn't like a real. Hit holler move like yo, what up? Try what up though? Yep. Same baby. How you doing? Damn, and it's my watermelon, man. We do this. This is our thing. <laughs> I guess there's white guys out there 
Hello, beautiful, gorgeous. <laughs> exactly. What's up, gorgeous? What's up, gorgeous? Gorge? Yeah. What's up, gorge? What's up, gorge? <laughs> because Rachel Ray ruined the English language by fucking putting everything into... Delish. No, no, no. We're just going to say half the word. Just is half it? the word. We're right. not going to say the full word. Well, she's on point because everything is like, oh, my God, LOL. Right. <laughs> so it's all fucking... We're not even going to have English anymore at one right. point. It's going to be all letters. We're going to speak in emoji. <laughs> we're going to speak in emoji. <laughs> oh, my God. Smiley, winky face. <laughs> <laughs> I will fight you to the death. I will rent a helicopter, right. fly it over a volcano, and fight you to the so, death. Say, like, bitch, I'm about to get my income tax. You know what that means? <laughs> Dollar sign eyes. <laughs> Wait, what? And in one month, <laughs> frown face. Frown face. Because <laughs> you're going to lose it all. Yo, it's funny. As I guarantee you people talk like that already. There's mm-hmm. a group of people who are trying to get that trendy. Dude, I bet you teenagers so. talk like that, man. I bet you teenagers talk like that. You know what? That. Some of the teenagers. I've if been they around. even speak to each other, right? Because... No, it's it's definitely they speak on the headset playing right. video games. But some of the teens I've been around, uh, it's it's a weird one. You get ones that are very the trendy teens, and you get the ones that are anti trendy. Mm. Kind of like they kind of like old school shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Nah, I like the nostalgic of it all. Like the ones that sit there, like sit there and agree with, like, no, we're fucked up. <laughs> like my generation's fucked up. I kind of like what you guys are about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was an interesting song. I forgot the guy's name. But it's a it's an interesting song, yeah, you know, uh, called "Old Niggas," and he's a young dude rapper. But even though he was very kind of lyrical, and he's talking about, he was kind of taking a jab at old school niggas that that hate all young niggas, you know. Yeah, and yep. he's like, "How? Well, as a young nigga, maybe your old ass, you know, certain certain type of old niggas, maybe you should be teaching me something instead of talking about teaching me mm. something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. show me how to make money. Tell me instead of tell me go out there and make it. You ain't even doing any broke ass. Right. You know what I mean? Like, there's certain type of niggas he's talking about. And I was like, this is an interesting song. Look it up. It's called Old Niggas. I forget his name. <laughs> he's a young nigga though. Do you Google? <laughs> no, but it was it was a pretty cool song, man. I was like, oh okay, nice. Get I have them to check it out. Old niggas. All so right. yeah, man. So you guys got some homework for next week. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, homie. Check out the song Old Niggas. <laughs> All right. And um, <laughs> hey, man, tell us how you feel about it on this hotline two zero three five nine four six nine seven seven. We appreciate you joining us for episode twenty three. That's that Jordan Jordan. number. Jordan. Um, Jordan. And hey. Until next time, man, this has been your co-host, mm. not your co-host, mm. his co-host, Talk to him. Lil Mattress, at L-I-L-M-A-T-T-R-E-S-S. On all social media, LilMattress.com. Uh, Look me up on Spotify, uh, Lil Mattress, uh, and uh, check out the new album, Pumpernickel. Also got a couple that. more albums Pump up that. there. Man, hit like, share, and subscribe on everything. Mm. If you listen friends. on iTunes, please give us a review. Do that, do that, hit do us that. with that five stars. Let us know, man. Get us on better placement up there. Get us, uh, you know. Uh, to get us more ears on ears. the product, we need ears out there. on the product. It is streets. So, so we yeah, say you know, streets Stitcher, worldwide. Stitcher, Apple, Pine, mm-hmm. all that stuff, man. Do we that, out there. Give that, us a listen. That, give us a share. That. Give us yeah. a chance. Yeah, I'm the nigga with the chef hat. You know, young pastry. Why you ng pastry all over the world? Uh, chef extraordinaire, nigga. Flip that spatula. Flip your life around. Flip it. Flip it. Flip you it, burn. Flip it. See that spatula? Flip before you burn, nigga. Mm, mm. That's a t-shirt. T-shirt. <laughs> Peace.